Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. Welcome back. I want to show you on something that is extremely important for every V-Star 650 owner. If you do the tire change yourself or having it done by a shop, you gotta insist for them to lube the splines in your drive shaft right there. I'm gonna show you in a minute what I'm talking about first. I kind of it was an afterthought to do this video. So uh, if you're doing this at home yourself the wheel on the v-star 650 or 1100 comes out a different way than most bikes it actually comes out complete as you see it here with the drive shaft so what you got to do is you just loosen up the axle you don't take it out and there is a four bolts over here that you got to take off and of course undo your uh, a rear brake uh, a drum a holder here and uh, and the shaft for uh, for the lever and the whole assembly slides out when you're putting it back you can see here the drive shaft would lay you gotta lay it on here and start sliding it back and it'll find its way in pretty easily you might want to put the bike in gear so uh, you know as you are turning the drive shaft it'll, it'll get into the spline easier the reason why I'm doing this video is I want to show you what has to be lubed because this is like the Achilles heel on these bikes there is a spline and a coupler underneath this cover you just take these four bolts out and it comes apart you gotta lube that up every time you do a tire change because if you don't the splines that look just like this but they're over here if they strip and they strip inside this you're looking at about thousand dollars because they don't sell the parts separately to fix it they do sell the coupler but they don't sell the the spline coming out of the gearbox you gotta buy the whole thing so extremely important and if you have any that at the shop somewhere be adamant that they loop that for you so I'm gonna show you what it looks like okay so I got the four nuts out I'm gonna work with one hand so uh, hopefully be uh, able to see it okay you pull this out and you're gonna see the coupler here that I was talking about you can actually pull the coupler off there's just the, the the rubber boot over here here's the coupler there's a spline in here spline in there spline in here and spline in here this one is not dry but it's it it, it needs to be looped up it's due so you want to loop all these splines one two three four okay make sure you do that then you just put it back together it's no big deal to do this but it's extremely important if this spline is stripped right here you gotta buy the whole thing they do sell this coupler but and the drive shaft but not this not this part by itself so please do that it's a must must do on the NA650 V-Star. Thank you so much for uh, watching. I hope you subscribe if you find these videos useful. And uh, see you in the next one. Thanks.